I'm Tim Waters, Longmont City Council member representing Ward 1, which is the east side of town. A number of days ago, I posted a video in which I shared my four R's for getting through this COVID pandemic. The first of those four R's is responsibility, the second, reliability, the third, resilience, and the fourth, resourcefulness. And in this video, I want to reflect just a little bit on R number three, resilience. Because right now, resilience looks to me a lot like the willingness and the ability to adapt to change. Of all the changes, and there are many that we're having to adapt to right now, the virus is the cause of those changes. And I know it's easy to look at governors or public health officers and point to them as the, the reason we're being inconvenienced or the reason, the reason we're having to adapt to uh, the kinds of changes to which we're having to adapt right now. But it really is the virus. Because if we don't adapt to this virus, in this case, if we don't adapt, the consequences are, are pretty serious for many of us. So I want to reflect in this video, just, uh, just for a second here, on the advice of one of the great philosophers of the last century and one of the great basketball coaches of all time, John Wooden, who said, failure is not fatal, but failure to adapt might be. So John Wooden uh, was offering pretty good advice for us right now that the failure to adapt right now could be fatal. And I would add to that the, uh, the advice of one of the great scientists of all time, Charles Darwin, who made this statement. It's not the, the strongest of the species that, that survives, nor is it the most intelligent. It's the most adaptive to change. Right now, for this species, our resilience needs to look like adapting to change. Surviving this pandemic clearly requires adaptation. We can do this. Let's do it together so we all survive together.